What's going on guys? I'm Pete and welcome to Retro Game Attic. So today I'm going to show you guys how to use an NES Classic controller on a Nintendo Wii. So first step you're going to need a Nintendo Wii console and it is going to need to be soft modded and I will throw a link in the description as to how to do that. It's pretty easy, it should only take about 20 minutes or so, you just need a console and an SD card. So step two is you need to have FCE Ultra GX loaded on there and again in the description there's going to be instructions as to how to do that. And as you can see I click into there and I have all my ROMs loaded there. Alright so we're going to click on Kirby's Adventure here and we'll load that up. And I'm going to switch to my capture card because my phone is basically potato quality when it comes to recording video. So next step I'm going to open up the main menu by pressing the home button on the Wii Remote. And then from there I'm going to go to game settings and then next controller and just make sure that NES controllers are selected. Then from there I'm going to go to button mappings, NES controller, and then classic controller. So in button mapping just make sure that all the buttons are mapped properly. You can see B for B, A for A, you're going to concentrate on the D-pad and the start button. We're not going to really have to worry about X here since it doesn't apply to an NES classic controller. And then once you're all done there you can go to go back, go back, and now we're away from the capture card. And now you can see after doing that that the game is running well and uh, the buttons are mapped properly and are corresponding. I mean the game's playing great here. Now obviously this isn't the most ideal solution. You would want to actually play it on the real hardware with the original game cartridge but as a stopgap solution it's pretty good and it's relatively easy to do. This is kind of like a semi-official way to play these old ROMs. I mean you're using the Wii hardware and an NES Classic controller which is pretty close to a real NES controller. So some of these NES games are pretty expensive and hard to find now so I thought this was like a cool little way to enjoy them. So yeah, thank you guys for watching Retro Game Attic. Please let me know what you would want me to talk about next time and I will catch you on the next one.